Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear student, today we will discuss something unusual because uh, in previous lecture I was uh, working on our parts of speech, but now uh, I have changed my test and I have brought a lot and another thing for you that is uh, very very special for the uh, people who have good interest with the English literature and linguistic. So there are a lot of terms we use in our literature particularly in drama different genres drama and drama and the novel so we have a different type of conflict in our story uh, i have uh, tried my best to uh, bring out a uh, six type of uh, story conflict uh, while we are reading our text because when we are reading a text there is not only a story there are undercurrent meanings and there are themes there are symbolic interpretation so that you can understand this what are the things how to read a story and how to think about the conflict which which occurred in the story such as i today i want to tell you about the six type of story conflict in the literature while you are reading fiction or as well as the dramas or plays so after taking this lecture you would be able to uh, learn about the story conflict in english genres because there are a lot of genres and there is a story and there is a always conflict and the story so step by step we will learn uh, six step which occur in our literature while we are reading any text because most of the student who are learning uh, english language and literature they only consider the text as a story but the story has many interpretation if we critically analyze the things we have come to know a lot of many other things rather than only story so jump to the first slide and we will discuss about the six step of firstly six step of story conflict firstly i would uh, i would give you the definition of conflict what is a conflict a conflict is a contest between two antagonist forces there are six primary category of external and internal conflict in literature mean to say that uh, a conflict ek aisi مقابلہ ہوتا ہے دو جو ہے دو قوتوں کے درمیان جو کہ آپس میں جو ہے کھڑی ہوتی ہیں اور یہ جو ہے بیسک سکس جو ہے نا پہلے پارٹ جو ہے اس کو بتائے گئے ہیں کہ یہ سکس تضاد جو ہیں کنفلکٹ جو ہے انگلش لٹریچر میں پائے جاتے ہیں اردو میں بتانے کا مقصد یہ ہے یو کین انڈرسٹینڈ ایزیلی سو کم ٹو دا فسٹ کنفلکٹ واٹ از دیٹ کنفلکٹ دیٹ از مین ورسز مشین look at this that is very very innovative conflict nowadays in modern english literature uh, man is uh, facing man is encountering the machine technology you know uh, it's modern era definitely modern literature we have some reports and other uh, technology which the protagonist is facing such kind of trouble man versus machine conflict are common in science fiction is science ki fiction can the do بہت کامن ہے دی پٹ دا پروٹاگنس کرنیس اینڈ کریٹیوٹی اگینسٹ دا انٹیلیجنس اینڈ پاور آف ٹیکنالوجی یعنی مین ٹو سی دیٹ کہ جو مشین ہے ٹیکنالوجی ہے یہ پروٹاگنسٹ ہے جو کہ مین کریکٹر ہوتا ہے اس کی جو ہے پاور اور انٹیلیجنس اور کریٹیوٹی جو ہے اس کو ختم کرنے کی کوشش کرتی ہے اور ہیرو جو ہوتا ہے جو پروٹاگنسٹ ہوتا ہے وہ اس کے اگینسٹ لڑتا ہے دیر از ایگزامپل ان فرنٹ آف یو دیر از ان اے گرین باکس یو کین سی دیٹ میری شیلیز فرکنس ٹرینس ان دا بک وچ پرفیکٹلی ٹیل اس اباؤٹ دا تھیم آف مین ورسز مشین ان دس پرٹیکولی بک یو ول کم ٹو نو دیٹ دیر از اے مین ہو از فائٹنگ اگین مشین اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی دس از دا پرفیکٹ ایگزامپل آف مین ورسز مشین کنفلکٹ you can read this story you can read in text and you can realize that how man is fighting against machine so come to the next slide that is uh, man versus nature nature is everywhere so the protagonist must battle uh, the elements and the overcome adversity at the nature environment turn against him or her اب نیچر کے اگینسٹ جو ہے انسان جو ہے کیونکہ کچھ یہ نیچر کے اگینسٹ لڑنا بھی ایک بہت بڑی ہمت ہے اور انگلش لٹریچر میں کئی ایسی اسٹوریز ہیں جس میں جو پروٹاگنسٹ ہوتا ہے ہی از فائٹنگ اور شی از فائٹنگ اگینسٹ دا نیچرل فورسز سو نیچر از اٹ سیلف اے کائنڈ اینڈ اٹ سیلف اے کروئل سم ٹائم نیچر گیو اس اپرچونیٹی ٹو ڈو اے تھنگ پرفیکٹلی اینڈ سم ٹائم 
nature he is against us and give us defeat on every step so we have to face the nature we have to face the bad face and as well as a good face of the nature because both face are compulsory for the uh, determination of a fate or destiny of a protagonist so this is the example of the book in the in the green box into the wild is a book that perfectly uh, tell us about the story of men versus nature into the into thin air is another story which tell us about the conflict between man versus nature uh, to build a fire is also another example the people who are a uh, scholar phd or mphil scholar they must uh, consult these uh, books and they must dig out uh, the themes into the wild and into the thin air then they do build a fire there are perfect book men versus nature so uh, jump to the next slide uh there is man versus supernatural thing supernatural okay well, firstly we define this when the hero is punished or rewarded by the god the conflict is typical in greek play usually this is associated with the greek play in many fantasy stories the protagonist is forced to accept the predetermined destiny or fate so that uh, man versus Uh, supernatural mean to say that the man has become a tie in front of uh, supernatural power so he will not be able to fight against supernatural things so what are the most uh, perfect example of supernatural uh, man was a supernatural the lord of king rings that is very perfect book in the in that book the protagonist is facing a lot of trouble and he fighting against supernatural things so this is a perfect example you can read this book the next one is the discovery of witches uh, in this particular novel there are lot of uh, witches who are fighting against the protagonist so this is another example of that book you can also read this book and explore uh, many themes men versus supernatural so my next slide is uh, men versus self and that is uh, very very important uh, you have read so many uh, so many story in different genres english genres in men versus self the main character has to face his or her own fear weakness and feeling the the plot may resolve around a difficult decision of the protagonist he take it mean that men versus self is the story which the protagonist and the hero is fighting against his own circumstances inner circumstances whether they are bad whether they are good he or me is facing such kind of thing the perfect example of this book is prince hamlet is there because prince hamlet was fighting against his himself because inner forces was fighting against him then catinus everdin is another example of this men versus self so jump to the next slide that is men versus men uh, the protagonist engage in flick with the enemy in order to win victory the antagonist uh, connection may manifest itself physically emotionally and mentally or in other form mean to say that man versus man is the person the protagonist who is fighting against the person his enemy his foe uh, to gain again victory whether the person is in a favor whether the person is against he is fighting against the men the perfect example of this literature is macbeth you uh, you have learned in your syllabus lord of flies is also there the book thief is also the perfect example of uh, this conflict come to my next slide that is men versus society that is very very important because the person who is living in the society definitely a lot of challenges norms and tradition are there you should follow the norm traditions uh, of the society if you are going against such kind of tradition and uh, norms it means you have to face very harsh uh, circumstances uh, men versus society the uh, prominent form of conflict in political style and dystopian fiction in character struggle uh, against the rules of his or her society it mean that you are it means it mean that you are men versus society mean that the person is fighting against the society the norm of the society and most of the play uh, in which we are fighting against society there are political styles are there and as well as the norms and tradition of the society 
द परफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैन वर्स सोसाइटी इज द हंगर गेम्स टू किल अ मॉकिंग बर्ड फॉर एन हाइड दीज थ्री प्लेज परफेक्टली टेल अस अबाउट द कन्फ्लिक्ट मैन वर्स सोसाइटी सो दीज वर दिक्स कन्फ्लिक्ट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैम दीज वर द only the tip of the iceberg in literature i totally give you the intro of such kind of literature you may consult with me if you have if you want to know about more about the conflict and example of this literature for particularly scholar i have tried my best to give you the best of the best example and as well as the definition so that you may be able to explore uh, your thesis and as well as your research work through the beginning of these slides If you have any questions, you let me know in my comments box, and I will wait for your uh, remarks. And in my next lecture, I will talk about uh, the theory that is uh, that is very very important in English literature. That is reader response theory. I would like to talk with them, and you may contact with me uh, through uh, email and as well as my comment box. I will definitely reply you. Thank you so much for watching my lecture. Assalamualaikum, Allah Hafiz.